tall, dark, and handsome. Uh, funny and very smart. He seemed very sweet right off the bat in terms of his nature. I could tell he's very calm, easy to talk to, so that was the first thing I knew. Uh, well, like I said, I started out with she was very patient. I thought she was very sweet and a little bit with a, an offbeat sense of humor. <laughs> and she was very cute. I always do see myself as someone who could be independent without me. And then knowing that she was off living in the valley and all these other areas really kind of brings that That was a good night. Yeah, we, uh, we stayed until the restaurant closed at Barcelona and Evanston. It was great. I was an hour late. So I kept calling her because I was on. I took a train and the train, like something happened, was incredibly delayed. So I kept calling and say, I, I swear to God, I'm all the way. And I, I thought for sure when I got there, she just wouldn't be there. And I was worried some other guy was going to be trying to pick up her because I was gone for so long. You know, it was a nice night. So the fact that he was late um, was fine because I I made some new friends. I suppose the first time um, that I kind of showed like affection for her, I remember we, she tells me she was shocked by it because our second or first date, depending how you looked at it, we actually met some friends of hers. Um, and we went out and had an octopus at this uh, Greek restaurant, and then we all had to get back in the car, um, and uh, so we were in the back seat. So I did the you know put your arm around her. <laughs> she said, "I was so shocked that you did that." <laughs> And I said, well, I guess it was a good thing because she didn't know whether I was interested in it or not until I did that, if you want to call that a move. Well, I considered the first move the first kiss, so it was funny because I thought you were kind of asking me a question. So I leaned over saying, what? And that's when you kissed me. And I Thanks thought, for telling me. I thought, oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's pretty smooth, actually. I'm just impressed that, that you know she's willing to try different things, and I guess we both do that. And we, we try to do different things that the other person likes to be with each other. So Monica was a cheerleader in high school, um, but she's not big in like playing sports, uh, team sports. So I actually have her uh, out playing ultimate frisbee, which really impressed me. Um, I'm impressed with my ability to be patient with my ability to fix everything around the house. My, it's pretty handy. And, I never met anybody who could really build things. So that was pretty amazing to see that you, know, you could do that for yourself, for um, your own place, and build a people. And... I think one of the things, though, is that she's very, very loyal to her family. So it's a good father love you with her. She even so loyal to the point that she moved in with her sister for almost a year just to raise their uh, triplets to help her with that. I think that's, pretty, that's a pretty strong commitment. Pretty amazing. So he's all about being fair in the relationship. So I had to start running to better my health. Yeah, it's not like a trade for tit for tat. Right, so I, I don't think people really know that. Well, it's only between us. Um, so for the first time in a long time, I'm, I'm running actually. So, and he's finally wearing his seatbelt, which is good. You need to be with somebody who's honest with you and who knows how to sacrifice things in life. Well, no matter what, you have to work hard at the relationship. Um, so it's not going to be perfect, but the person should always give just as much as you get in the relationship. So those are some of the things I, I remember. When I think about it, I do remember my friends had much uh, straightforward, more straightforward advice, which is uh, don't lose this one or you're an idiot. I had planned on uh, proposing on the ski slopes at, at uh, Sundance Film Festival. And I'm a, a more skilled skier than Monica. And so she decided in the morning that she was going to take lessons, and I was off, I was skiing or boarding um, by myself. And then I met her for lunch after the lessons. 
and uh, she was pretty tired. So two weeks later, uh, I had to come up with a whole different angle, and I knew that she loved to go to the Peninsular Hotel. They had a high tea, and then they had a chocolate bar and all that. So I planned this whole evening uh, doing that, and uh, I surprised her there. Although I think she expected it by that. Time. I had a, had a feeling, but I didn't want to say yeah. it. You like to keep fit, you, you're definitely active, and you're very playful, and you're loyal, and I think those, those things uh, are in those types of dogs. Maybe like one of those cute otters who hangs out in the, the ocean, because she's very playful, uh, clever, I can kind of imagine the playful part, and then the otter just being happy, getting their comfort food. <laughs> I could see in the future she has some great little cafe or restaurant and I'm doing the books for her. <laughs> yeah. But then I'd have my sailboat that we'd have to go off the Caribbean for a few months of the year. <laughs> I see ourselves um, doing a lot of entertaining with friends when and family, like cooking and getting just a lot, a lot of food involved. There's some passing baseline. Hopefully little little ones or a lot of children uh, of our own would be great. To make you feel my love When the evening shadows and the stars appear And there is no one there to dry your tears <laughs> I could hold you for a minute 